another episode of Home Weeks Up Cooking. Tonight, we are having an Asian-themed meal with this spicy garlic shrimp. I actually can't take um, credit for this recipe. I actually got this from another YouTuber that cooks. Um, her name is So Young Longest, and she made this dish um, on one of her YouTube videos, and I fell in love with it, so I absolutely had to make it. Like I said before in the past, my family and I, we are really big Asian um food eaters, if that's the way you say it, but we just really like Asian food. So I wanted to try my hand and make more Asian dishes. And so my husband was watching her channel, then he showed it to me. And so then of course I subscribed, um, but she has a lot of great videos on there and she knows, and she teaches you, I would say how to make it more simple when you're cooking Asian food at home. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. I have two pounds of clean Devane shrimp. I have the tails on. I really have it on for a presentation, but you can take it off. They're medium sized. I have eight cloves of garlic. I have two tablespoons of chili oil, uh, hot chili oil with the chili flakes. And this is the brand that I picked up at Kroger. It is Lee Kum Kee. Okay. <laughs> but, um, okay, so now I have my oyster sauce. So that's two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I have the oyster sauce here. And it's also from the Lee Kum Key at Kroger. One tablespoon of honey, three tablespoons of butter. The recipe said unsalted butter. I really didn't notice that part. So I, the butter that I have in the fridge is salted, but we'll be fine. Um, I have one lemon. <laughs> one lemon. I have my green onions, my cilantro, olive oil, and pepper. And that's all we need for this dish. So the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and mix up the sauce. So we're gonna take our chili oil, put it in here. Now on her recipe, she did say you can have um, white wine in it. I didn't do it because I know my son, he's probably gonna eat some, so I didn't, I omitted the white wine because of him, but if I was to make this for my husband and for my husband and I, then I would do the um, the white wine in it. And then also I thought I had some white wine in there, cooking wine, I would say, but it was white wine vinegar. I didn't want to mess it up, so I just was like, forget that. All right, so we're gonna combine this, these three, give it a stir. And I, actually, I could smell it already. I could smell the chilies and the honey and the oyster sauce. Combined, it smells like really, really good. So we're gonna give that a stir. So I think that's pretty good. So next on our list, we are gonna go ahead and chop up the green onions and the cilantro. Now, on her recipe, she did a little bit more of the green onions and the cilantro. But I really, um, I just didn't want to have a, the overpowering taste of the cilantro. I'm just starting to be a cilantro fan, so I just didn't want to overdo it with this dish. So I have a couple of um, stems, not a lot, but enough to get the cilantro flavor, but not be too overpowering. So right now, I'm chopping up my green onions. I have two stalks in the... Um, in her recipe, she had three, but like I said, even though you're making somebody else's recipe, you can still make um, changes to fit your taste, your family taste, or whoever you're cooking for taste. Um, I always say that even for my recipes as well. If you make them, you make changes, um, that's fine. And if you do make changes, just let me know, drop down below, tell me like, hey, I did this instead of doing that. It might be actually a really good idea that I never even thought of. Um, and for other people as well, too, because other people read the comments. And so I feel like those suggestions are um, helpful, not just to me, but to anybody else that's in the comments. So chop that. And I'm not the best chopper, but I got it done. So here, like I said, with the cilantro, she used a whole bunch. Um, we're not that big on cilantro. I just really started liking it. I like it, but not a lot of it because it can be very overpowering. And so I just picked a couple of little, um, what you call these? Vines, stems, so it's like four with some leaves on it. So we got that. So I'm gonna chop this up really quickly. And my husband is giving me chopping lessons. So hopefully I'm doing well. He's over there behind the camera. 
So hopefully I'm making him proud on my chopping. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Also, you know what, I need to give me another chopping board for sure. So okay, we got that chopped up, we got the cilantro chopped up and the green onions chopped up. So I'm about to turn on my pan, my skillet. But other than that, while I'm waiting for the pan to heat up, one thing I'm gonna say is a little trick that I have with this lemon. Um, I'm gonna use this later on at the end of the dish. But if you wanna get a lot of juice out of your lemon, pop it in the microwave for maybe like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, depending on how big the lemon is. Warm it up some, once you cut it, all the juice will be flowing out of it and you'll get all of it. All right, so my pan is heated up. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in here. And then I'm gonna add some of the butter. Not some of it, all of it. So it's three tablespoons. And actually when you have the olive oil with the butter, it keeps it from turning brown. That's a little tip that I learned. So that's melting. And actually, y'all, I've, I've had this burner right here for a while. I just hadn't used it yet. I got it from Walmart. It was maybe like $13, I think. And um, it's been sitting under my desk for a while. So tonight, I said, you know what? I'm about to pop this out. And we, we're not going to work with the stove tonight. Okay, so of course, we are going to saute our garlic. And that is to do what? To get the aroma out, to get the taste out and all of that good stuff. Like I said, in her recipe, she did 10 cloves of garlic. I did eight. I did have two pieces of garlic that were really big, so in my mind, that's the full 10. So we just gonna say that. But it smells so good, it's so aromatic. So my garlic is turning brown, which means we need to go ahead and add our shrimp. Now I might cut it up a little bit because the shrimp is obviously gonna make the pan cold or the skillet cold and you don't want that. You want the shrimp to cook pretty fast, about two to three minutes. It doesn't take shrimp long to cook. As you may know, I use raw shrimp. I would say don't get the pre-cooked uh, pre shrimp. The shrimp is already pink in the packages get the raw shrimp. That way you can't avoid um, your shrimp being tough and chewy. I'll turn this up a little bit. Stir this around. So, all right. So our shrimp is still cooking. Make sure you stir it up. You know what, in my taco spaghetti video, Oh, you know what? And that one is almost to a thousand views. I'm so proud of that video. I just want to thank y'all so much for rocking with me and getting my videos to um, higher view numbers. I just really, really appreciate that. All right, so the shrimp is looking done. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add our sauce. Now, I could not find red chilies anywhere. I went to Kroger, I went to H-E-B, I could not find them. The recipe did call for them, but she said it was optional, especially because you just don't want the dish to be just super, super hot because in the hot chili oil, it's the chili flakes are in it already. So it was just really optional. A lot of it is really for color and added flavor, but more so for color, I would say. So I went everywhere, I couldn't find it. Well, I ain't gonna say everywhere, you know, but in my vicinity, that's where I went and I couldn't find it. So the shrimp is almost done. And because of that, we're gonna go ahead and add our cilantro and uh, green onions. Ooh, that is so pretty. I just love the greens. It's so pretty. So once you have that in there, make sure you get it all. And then go ahead and um, get ready to cut your lemon up. Go ahead and squeeze our lemon. You can save the other half of the lemon for like a garnish. That'll work. I didn't do my lemon trick today for filming purposes, of course. But don't forget what I said. Pop it in the microwave for what, like, like I said, 10, 15 seconds, and then um, you get all your juice out. So we are done, I can smell it. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna use that for garnish, while it's finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. 
So we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick taste test. I did not get me a fork, but what I can do is use my spoon. We have to improvise here. So I'm gonna pick, you know what? I could just pick it up. So I can tell on it. Good. It got a spice to it, but not too much spice. You can taste the green onions, the cilantro, the lemon. It's just so good. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. But other than that, like I say, always be creative, think outside the box, and you too can be homie dope in the kitchen. See you guys.